Last week, Google fired its one of most senior AI researchers who was working on a major artificial intelligence project within Google. The reason for letting her go is not clear, but Google says that she violated the terms and conditions of her employment. Now, Google has landed into a major controversy, Sue, because of the work it's doing with AI and being one of the world's largest technology companies that controls a huge part of the internet. This is a major concern. Here's why. Hey, you're watching What the Tech with me, your host, technology futurist, Ian Khan. In What the Tech, we analyze current news and try and understand how that impacts our world, how that impacts business and the future. Last week, Google fired one of its employees. Timnit Gibru was a key part of the work that Google is doing on artificial intelligence. Now, first of all, artificial intelligence is one of the most researched areas within technology today. And everybody, including Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Twitter, Alibaba, everybody's spending billions of dollars on AI research. The reason being that AI is expected to revolutionize everything we do in work, at business, at home. And in fact, one of the biggest reasons why it's getting so much attraction is because over the last few years, a lot of money has been thrown into AI research and the future is promising. And they're also saying that AI is going to be one of these areas in tech that whoever is able to break through the science of AI and make it work is likely to control a huge part of the internet and in fact, our world. Going back to the Google story, Timnit Gebru was Google's one of the top most AI ethics researchers. She's worked on things such as facial recognition bias. She's essentially worked on things that help design AI technology so it doesn't discriminate against people, gender, uh, certain uh, race. It doesn't do that. And that's what she's been working on. And that's why it's important. Timnit was also co-lead of Google's ethical AI team, where her main task was to help Google uh, making their technology fair, which seems like a very niche area. Here are some interesting facts about Timnit. Now, she's, on, she's one of the only women of color who reached such a high status in the world of artificial intelligence. She's also the founder of uh, Black in uh, AI, an advocacy, advocacy group that has pushed for more black roles in AI. Uh, she's also been a critic of tech companies, including Google, for creating um, uh, not creating a gender balance uh, for people of color uh, and so on in the past. The whole controversy arose when Gabriel released a white paper online and was then asked by Google, Google to redact it. She was then fired. Now, this is not the first time a large tech company has done something like this controversial. Facebook is another one of those companies that has always been engulfed with controversy, whether it's about uh, election meddling, violating privacy rights, or being misleading when answering questions uh, at congressional hearings. That is for another episode. Here's the bottom line from the firing of Timnit. Large technology companies thrive on intellectual property and at any given instant, if they feel their IP is being divulged or compromised, I would not be surprised if they do something like this. The firing of Timnit, in my opinion, has nothing to do with her uh, being a person of color. It makes no sense for Google or anyone uh, to fire their top talent based on a racial agenda. That's my opinion. Uh, things could be different. AI is highly competitive and large companies are literally killing each other to get ahead. In my opinion, the fight to get ahead to win the AI uh, race is going to get more fierce as companies like Facebook, Alibaba, Google, IBM, Microsoft, uh, and others continue to spend billions of dollars. Now, the question becomes, how does artificial intelligence become so important? And why is everybody paying so much attention to it? Well, here are some facts. First of all, Artificial intelligence has been in the labs for more than 50 years. There's been research that's been going on for 50 years, four or five decades now. But now there is more of a revolution in AI because of um, faster computing, because of the access to resources that researchers have, because of the scale and um, scalability of research uh, that can be done because of technology. The availability of big data and how that can impact how AI learns and how we can uh, do more with artificial intelligence. Now, AI is a broad field. There's many, many, many different things in AI, and that definitely 
definition continues to change. Some people feel that automation is AI, robotics is AI, self-driving cars is about AI. Well, the fact is that AI is in many different things, many different forms. Uh, language processing has AI. Image recognition has AI. The promise of AI is about automation. It's about changing the way industry works, changing the way manufacturing works, changing the way our cities work, smart cities work, our cars work. And so AI is going to have a huge impact on what we do. Now, if you look at the future and you look at the next 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 years, uh, what we're seeing is a huge impact of automation on productivity, on manufacturing, on logistics. Every single industry out there is going to be impacted by automation. And artificial intelligence will be able to automate everything. It'll be able to change the definition of work. And that's why it's so significant. If you look at some of the recent uh, news within artificial intelligence, it's being used in, in, in automobiles for autonomous cars, it's being used in uh, space travel, it's being used in uh, things even like the accounting industry. And so the impact is going to be in many different places. We're living in the era of COVID-19 and the pandemic. AI can help with drug distribution, it can help with disease tracking, it can help with breakout uh, management. And so there's that application of artificial intelligence in healthcare and in medicine. The reason why some of the largest technology companies are chasing AI is because, first of all, they're cash rich. They've got uh, billions and billions and billions of dollars that they can spend on research, they can fund research, they can acquire companies that are doing incredible work. And we've seen this happen uh, in, in many different cases. Um, Google acquired uh, DeepMind. Uh, we've just had a technology company, uh, Element AI, that's been acquired uh, by another tech giant. And so the, all these acquisitions are taking place because now large technology companies have a lot of money and they can just acquire technology, then, uh, then start developing their own IP, which they're still doing. The race to dominate in uh, this era and the next, in the next five to 20 years, is pivotal. Uh, it's not just how organizations and how these large tech vendors will be able to utilize data, but also how do they automate data. Take the example of Facebook. They say that Facebook has more than 5,000 data points on every person. Now, th those data points need to be analyzed. And unless um, Facebook doesn't put automation behind that analysis, that those data points are of no use. And that's that's where we're headed with artificial intelligence. And that's why everybody is so vested in this area. Google employees have signed a petition condemning the firing of Timnit and have asked Google for answers. Well, the tech giant hasn't responded yet. As of Saturday, over 1,500 people, uh, Google employees have signed a petition condemning the firing of Timnit and have asked Google for answers. Well, the tech giant hasn't responded yet. At this moment, here is what I am personally expecting to come out of this. This is my analysis. This is what I think is going to happen. Number one, Google works out a deal with Timnit, pays her off and makes her go away. Timnit would find a job with any technology company and she would get paid in millions. This is not even a point of discussion. Number two, Google ignores everything, cites internal policy, policy violation and pulls its legal team and, uh, and employment laws Timnit continues her fight, and maybe in a few months, the story goes away. Number three, the people win and uh, being Google and bring Google to their knees. Google management apologizes and takes Timnit back and says, hey, we're so sorry. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you visit my upcoming documentary, Artificial Intelligence, The Next Frontiers website, AI, the next frontier .com. It's coming out in 2021, and it's about the story of AI. It's what AI is all about, what is it doing right now, and where are we headed. This is a new documentary, and it's going to be out next year. Visit AI, the next frontier .com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, stay informed, stay in the know-how, and stay relevant by keeping in touch with what's happening in the world of technology. Thank you so much, and you take care.